Hey, what's going on, guys? I am John from JFM Development, and we are on episode 15. Yes, 15 of the Daily Mix-Up. Now, today's episode is going to be a little bit different, and it's going to be different because this episode has already happened. Yes, I actually told some of my subscribers in a live uh, live video of another uh, creator. Um, what happened was I filmed and did the whole video, and the whole time, my microphone was muted. So I lost all the audio. So unfortunately, there was no way I could, like, recover it. And doing a voiceover of the video kind of just didn't seem like it would work as good as just reshooting. But I ran out of time yesterday. And that is why a video didn't come up. So today, we are reshooting. So it's going to be a little different as I already know the recipe and the percentages that... I want to use for the mix at least to start off with but so let's do this a little bit different let me tell you the flavors we'll look over the recipe and I'll explain to you why I chose the flavors and percentages on a separate note if you are one of the subscribers that keep coming back and watching my videos it has been brought to my attention that a couple people are concerned about not having all the flavors of these recipes that I'm making when they have a lot of flavors. Well, the first thing I want to say to that is one, that is an ongoing problem with any DIY mixer. You're never going to have all the flavors. I struggle with that too. But in order for me to help new mixers and new creators start off without having problems, I'm going to probably dedicate maybe at least a couple recipes a week that I'm doing um to simple mixes simple mixes in other words mixes that are pretty straightforward and that use popular ingredients that way there's more of a chance that you guys will have the flavors rather than having to hunt out and buy them so i will make sure i do that at least a couple times a week i'm going to make an honest effort for that so i hope that addresses all your concerns regarding that so let's go to the recipe Actually, let me show you the flavors I'm using, and then we'll go to the recipe, and I'll explain to you the percentages I used. But first, let me talk about what I'm vaping on. As always, don't really change much day-to-day, -day, honestly, but I'm using the RX300 and the Goon RDA. I also have the Wizmec 2.3 going with the Troll 2 RDA. And uh, in this one, I am vaping my Strawberry Airhead. And on my goon, I'm vaping my birthday cake mix. It's very good, guys. It's very good. And I just double-checked my mic just to make sure it wasn't muted. Uh, you don't know how aggravating that is. It was such a good video, and this is such a good recipe. That's why I have to reshoot it. I, have a, I think this recipe is going to go very good. And I think there's a lot of potential in tweaking it, and I think that you guys are going to really like it. So, let me go over the flavors. The first flavor I want to use today is Anaware Biscuit. Followed by uh, Flavor West Yellow Cake. Lorraine's Cream Cheese Icing. Flavor Art Meringue, Capella Glazed Donut, Flavor Art Joy, TFA Strawberry Ripe, Capella Strawberry Taffy, Capella Super Sweet, Capella Sweet Strawberry. And last but not least, Flavor Art Zepola or Zeppoli or however you say it. Now, if you couldn't tell by now, what we're going for here is a uh, strawberry frosted donut. Now, I was watching a review of an e liquid, and one of the liquids the reviewer was reviewing was a strawberry frosted donut. And I'm like, shoot, I want to try to make one of those. That sounds awesome. So, that's what we're going for here today. 
So let me put you over to the recipe and I'll show you. Oops, wrong desktop. There we go. Okay, so this is what I'm naming it. I'm naming it Strawberry Donuts. I mean, pretty straightforward. And if you've never seen one of my videos before, these recipes are still in process. I'm just making this now that we're going to work them later on in the future. But you always can get the recipe down in the description. There will be a link. Okay, so the first ingredient is in a wire biscuit. I chose to do that at a half a percent. Followed by yellow cake at one percent. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the base. So this is what, what I did to, in order to get that donut profile. But I wanted the strawberry to be a little bit stronger because I, I want the strawberry to be more pronounced than the donut. I want the donut to be on the back end. So this is the base. I used biscuit at half a percent, cake yellow at one percent, F.A. meringue at 0.5, glazed donut at one, joy at 0.5. Now joy... Joy is more of an additive. Joy is best to be used under a percent, in my opinion. What Joy is, is it's kind of like a funnel cake flavor slash like a waxy, like a waxy type bakery fried flavor. And if you smell it, it's really off-putting. It actually smells like body odor, but it does its job very well. Alright, so that's part of the base, and then the last part of the base is right here, Flavor Art Zipola, and we're using that at 4%, and what that is, is that's basically, like, kind of like a fried dough donut flavor, um, and obviously the glazed donut, so that's all to build up the base. Now, I know there's a lot simpler ways to do this recipe, but I'm experimenting here. Those are all ingredients that should work pretty well together in order to make that donut profile. Now see, stuff like this isn't an example of a simple mix. I will make stuff for beginners in future episodes which will have the least amount of ingredients that are really popular. So it'll be a lot easier for you to follow along with. Okay, so the next, what I had to do now is I had to make the strawberry frosting, okay? So this is the next layer. So what I used was cream cheese icing by Lorenz at 1%. And then that Flav Art Meringue, that's kind of going to work with the icing and the donut. So that's why that's in there too. So it has kind of multiple purposes. Then I put uh, Super Sweet, obviously, to sweeten it up because it's a donut. Um, and also with the meringue, you kind of get that confectionery sugar at that low percentage. So that, that's going to work good. And then obviously the strawberry ripe and the strawberry sweet, that's there for the strawberries. And here's the new one that I'm ex really experimenting with that I think will go good. That strawberry taffy flavor, it has like this certain consistent consistency to it, which I think would work very, very well for like a frosting type flavor so that's why I kind of put it a little bit low and put the other strawberries higher hopefully with all these combined it will make a nice frosting flavor and that that's what I'm trying to achieve so I hope that explains it a little bit better to you um, yeah so let's just get right into the mix I really feel good about this one I really do now as I was saying before, I do want to start making more simple mix with fewer ingredients for you guys. So, uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if you have an ELR account. And I'll try to look up as many of yours as possible, just so I can gather an idea of what the most common flavors are, so I know what to work with. I mean, I have an idea of the most common flavors, like strawberry ripe, strawberry sweet, maybe yellow cake, maybe capella sugar cookie, stuff like that. But it would help if I could like look at some of your flavor stashes, like if you have them on ELR. That way I can get a better idea and I know what to work with. So if you want to like let me know your ELR username, just put it down below in the comments. It would help. Okay, so let's change the camera and get to mixing. Here we go. Where are you? That should do it. Bang. 
Also, let me know how you like this camera angle opposed to straight down. I think this one is better, in my opinion. Okay. So, we're making a 10 mil batch today. We're also doing it max VG. And we're doing 3 milligrams Nick. So, the first ingredient we're using is Enamora Biscuit. We're using that at half a percent, so that's 0 0.05 grams. Wow. I just went over on that. I'm actually going to dump that out real quick. That was way too much. I could have slowed down. Um. Okay. Yeah, and I wear a biscuit's really strong, so I don't want it overpowering. Okay. So point zero five. So maybe just a drop. All right, one more drop. Boom. See, this is why I kind of hate working with ten mils, especially on such low percentages, because anything under a percent um doing it in a 10 mil can be really hard to achieve by weight at least that's what i've found out okay so next up is yellow cake and yellow cake is at one percent okay flavor west yellow cake is in followed by loran's cream cheese icing Okay, and this is also in at 1%, so it's 0.1. Okay. Cream cheese icing is in the bag. Followed by Flavor Art Meringue. This is in at half a percent. So, I'm going to guess it's going to be two drops because we need 0 0.05. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, two drops. Two drops, guys. All right, tear that out. I normally don't make 10 mils. Normally, I'm usually doing 30 and above, but it's more economic to do it this way. All right. So, glazed donut from Capella is in at 1%. So that's 0.1 grams again. There we go. Next up is the smelly armpit flavor. <laughs> flavor Art Joy. No, seriously, if you have Flavor Art Joy or you end up getting it, smell it and leave it in the comments. Tell me if you think it smells like body odor. Because it really does. But it really does help, like, donut recipes. And we learned that, and where I learned that from is because I've never done a lot of donuts, but I have done uh, 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 Wayne Walker and your Rekla's uh, Bro Nuts, and he uses F.A. Joy, and <laughs> I would have never thought of using this or that until then, but once I heard his explanation, I mean, it made sense. I started using it in the recipes for that purpose, and it really does make a difference, but... Let me tell you, this one smells like complete. All right, anyways, let's get back to the mix mixing. So this is in at 0.5, so it's 0 0.05. That should do it. No. All right, one more drop. There we go. 
All right. Next up is Strawberry Ripe and at 5%. So that is at 0.52 grams. 0.52 Okay, strawberry ripe is in Next up is Strawberry Taffy. This is becoming another one of my favorite flavors. Really quick. I mean, I hadn't been stopping uh, vaping that Strawberry Airhead recipe. It's really good. Oh, and a disclaimer about that Strawberry Airhead recipe. I have I usually say this in all my videos and how sweetener is optional and I don't mind the drawbacks of sweetener, which is true. It does help keep me off cigarettes and I like sweet vapes. But I need to do a disclaimer on this one. The strawberry airhead recipe. I'm learning that it's it's definitely not nice to your coils or your cotton. It's definitely definitely not coil and cotton friendly. Let's just say that. Okay. So next up is strawberry taffy. And this is in at 2%, so it's 0 0.2. Okay, strawberry taffy's in. Next up, Capella Super Sweet. And this stuff, my friends, very sweet. And this is why I have it in at half a percent. Now, I was told, well, not told, I've heard, as you guys know, I just got this, this uh, sweetener in and I wanted to test it against TFA sweetener because that's what I'm used to. And I was told, anything that has TFA sweetener, if you're using super sweet, cut it in half. But I've cut it in half, and I'm going to venture to say you want to cut it in a quarter. This stuff is super sweet. It is not kidding. So, like, one of these bottles potentially could last you the same as maybe uh, 15. Uh, so, probably one of these bottles could probably last you as long as a 60 mil bottle of TFA sweetener. So that's something to think about. So this little tiny bottle just takes a couple drops, if not one. All right, so 0.5. So it's 0 0.05 we need. So I'm never going to be able to get it with this dropper because Capella dropper bottles are so different. See, two drops would have been 6% in a regular dropper bottle, but since I'm using a Capella dropper bottle, it's in at 0 0.09. And that's why... Uh, Measuring by drops is not as accurate because these drops will put out so much more every time. All right, so tear that out. Next up is sweet strawberry, and sweet strawberry we're doing at three percent, so it's point three. All righty. And last but not least, for the flavor. Let me get a little drink real quick. Alright, last but not least is a newer flavor. It's Flavor Out Zapola. It's a very good pastry donut fried flavor. It's very nice, very good. We're using this one at 4%, so it's 0.4 grams. There we go. So pull us in. And now it's time for the nicotine. Today I am using 100 milligram nick suspended in PG. When you have that level of nick, you want to make sure you're taking your proper safety precautions as that level of nick 
is poisonous and if it gets in contact with your skin or children or pets it can be very dangerous so make sure at minimum you're wearing gloves if not more always make sure you shake well especially if it's in vg shake it even more because you can get concentrated hot spots this is the part of mixing that you need to take very seriously and that's just i'm just telling you because i care other than that i won't lecture you throughout these videos but i mean nicotine is some serious stuff man all right so for the nicotine we are trying to hit the mark of three milligrams so we need 0 0.31 grams so when you're at this step slow it down and pay attention you want to get as accurate as possible Okay, here we go. I always want to like cap off your nicotine. I use it in this cool twist top bottle. Um, it makes it a lot easier for measuring by weight. But no matter what you're using, always close your nicotine faster. And if you have a whole bunch of it, store it in a cool dark place. That way it doesn't oxidize as fast and it will last longer and it won't taste peppery. If, it, if your nick is old, it starts to taste peppery and it's really dark, you might want to consider buying new nicotine because it's just going to negatively affect your juice. So, we're going to tear that out, and we are using a Max VG blend today. So, Max VG blend calls for 9.84 grams of VG. 9.84. And now, if you're measuring by weight, I'll suggest this. Especially if you buy your VG in bulk. Get twist top bottles like this for your VG, PG, Nick flavors. Just makes the whole mixing process a lot easier. Now, I will have some more updated videos on mixing by volume, mixing by drops, and mixing by weight. Just to show you the different ways, and then you can better choose which one works best for you. Now, if you're just beginning, I still say just get the scale. Because buying a scale one time over keep on buying syringes and pipettes and beakers and all that it's gonna probably average to the same price but i want to do a nice video on it comparing all of them and then it'll help uh give you guys the chance to make an informed decision if you're new to mixing what you should get for your own personal experience you know all right so now we're just gonna mix this bad boy up real quick I want to get the Norpro mixer. That way I can just mix in bottles. Um, I saw on the DIY Vapor channel, but uh, Penna Cali, she's a subscriber on this channel. I guess she's the one who mentioned it to him because I believe, and don't get mad at me if I'm wrong on this, but I believe they. Uh, she said she has arthritis, so she couldn't really uh, shake the bottles or whatever. So she got this Norpro mixer from Amazon. And no, they're not sponsored. It's just a really cool mixer. And basically, it allows you to mix in small bottles, like 10 mil, 30 mil, or whatever. So that way you don't lose product in like a beaker like this. Or you don't have to do the extra work of transferring it. So, it's a really cool product. I am definitely looking to getting it. But you have to add it as an add-on item, because like 6 bucks, they won't just ship you that. So... But that is a whole separate other note, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I knew I know it was a do-over so it wasn't probably as cool as the other ones But I really want to get this recipe out to you because I think it's gonna be a winner. It smells great um, And I already tasted some of the first one. I know I shouldn't have but it already tasted good and it hasn't even steeped yet so I have a feeling this one is going to be phenomenal and i'm really interested in seeing how the strawberry taffy interacts with all the other strawberries and the icing and hopefully it will mimic a nice strawberry frosting at least that's what i hope so if there's any certain things that you guys want to see in these videos 
leave it in the comments below. It helps me out. Also, make sure you uh, leave your username to ELR, especially if you have a flavor, uh, what do you call it, a flavor list or flavor stash. And then that way I can check what you guys have and that way I can make more recipes based on like simpler designs but based on like what you guys actually have so you guys don't have to go out buying more mixes and then we can mix along together. I think that would be cool. Now also please put a like on this video. It helps put this video higher up in search and it really helps me out. It really does. And also subscribe if you're new here. That way you'll get notified every time my video goes live. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys that keep coming back. I do notice and I try to respond to all my comments and I just really hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> thank you.